wiring is almost done i have a few more to go the i'm gonna pull the wires out and run it through the frame kind of looks like shit, but it's, it's gonna be Your mama was a snow blower. welcome back the screen showed up for the bike actually looks nice uh, see that uh, first problem it shows a USB cable and it wants you to plug the screen into the USB cable and then this would plug into your vest but vests don't use I've done a lot they don't they don't use that kind of plug so why would they give you even even the old ones they don't even use that kind of plug they use the the micro USB so I, that's going to be the first problem to figure out is how they want you to plug this thing in or if this is just the interface with the computer they give you multiple different wires and then you have different pin outs in different spots so I'm assuming you could plug into a different plug either like a five or a four but then why would they give you the cable to run to the bike so that will be the first thing I'll do I won't bore you with that I'm gonna pull the controller out of the bike and start plugging and unplugging uh, I'll probably put it on a little fast speed so we don't just sit there and watch me doing nothing but that's that's gonna be the biggest issue right off the bat is how how you even hook this thing up because they don't the instructions don't really tell you anything it, six pin six pin into the UART on the ESC but technically all of these are UARTs so then I don't know this will be a discovery process so sit back and we'll figure it out all right I'm back so I was wrong this USB cable there is no instructions it just tells you to hook up this to this and that goes to the UART this USB cable is not used this is for updates I'm assuming so they give you two different wire packs of different sizes neither of which plug into a vest they're just giving it to you in general and then they give you the USB cable USB cable don't even touch it these are good what you're going to be using and what happens you have I'll show you. You have two wires coming off of the screen. You have a black and a red, which is your five volt and a ground. So you have to find somewhere on your vest that's not using a five volt. We're already using the five volt on the, the throttle. There's a servo one, which that one. Oh, this is a different display. So I have one open here. It's not going to show up the same as this. It's a five volt ground. That's where I grab my two for the screen. And then on my same cable that I use for my throttle, there is a TX and a RX, and that's what we have on the screen. So you have, again, there's no, there's literally no documentation on here what wire is what. It just says TX and RX, and it shows it going into a plug. So trial and error, and second time around, yellow to orange, green to purple and when you flip it on we get everything so that's gps speed based so you have your satellites i'm in a garage and it's already picking up 12 satellites so that's going to be actually pretty nice so you won't get speed based off of your throttle but it shows you your duty and it has your battery and then we can go through and it'll tell you max speed average speed trip riding and we'll go through the rest of the settings on here. If you had pass sensor, you'd have your gear settings. You can go through and change your gear. I don't have pass sensors. I hate pass sensors. You can do it with a VESC. Uh, there's different ways. There's, you have to look at the documentation on it. I've never really got into it because I usually take them off every single bike. But you can do it. So I will wrap this up. And then next video, we will do a riding. And actually, not, not next video. Uh, next time around when I cut to it we will be doing a riding of it and showing you the speed and since I'm in here I'm gonna hook up the USB cable and then have that dangle off the bottom 
So then I can go through and do the field weakening because we should be able to get this thing quite a bit faster than it is right now. I'm maxing out at 39 miles an hour. I probably can get to 45, maybe 50 if I apply enough field weakening. But we're gonna test that out too and we'll have a perfect GPS speed to see. So I'll get this wrapped up and put back together and I'll show you how I'm doing the screen when we get to that point. But the wires, you don't need us to be seat tucked in. But I'll go over this one more time. On the screen, you have your cable coming off of it. It's a just a regular waterproof plug, which goes down to this guy, which I'm gonna probably do a heat shrink across all of this. But out of here, you have two wires. You have a positive and a negative, a five volt, and your ground. And then you have an RX and a TX. And I don't know, let's see, it's always the opposite. So the yellow, yellow is a T. So yellow is the RX and green is the TX. So you're gonna flip flop them. So RX to TX, TX to RX, and that's how they communicate. And this, just follow this yellow to orange, green to purple, and then find a five volt in the ground and the screen will come on. And this works for any bike that you put a vest on and with this screen and with this controller or any vest controller technically, uh, you can go through the settings uh, and you pick your type. And we're gonna, we have it on VESC, F-S-E-S-C. So we're good and you hold it. Yeah, and there's no documentation. I had to figure all that out just from pushing buttons. But uh, when we come back, I'll have it mounted up. Well, we'll I'll, do, I'll show the mounting up. And then we will go for a ride and see how it actually does speed and shows duty and battery, which the battery is nice. I like the battery bar. All right, we'll come back for you. I'm almost done. I'm gonna mount the screen right above the stem, kind of like stock. And it comes with a couple different mounts, and some I don't even know what they're supposed to be for. So this thing, I don't know where or how it snaps on. There's nothing that correlates to this anywhere. It came with a little rubber piece if you want to snap it to your handlebars. You use your little grips and it came with an extra a little bit thinner piece and then it came with this one to to mount if you use this piece but i have no idea what this thing is for do a complete key off key on looks great in dim light when it comes to sunlight you cannot see this screen really at all and then it's got a polarization so it really messes with your sunglasses Let me get a little. Uh, you have up at the top i'm assuming just telling you that you have power but nothing happens you have gps signal right now we have 22 satellites which is amazing uh, gps time it's all time based you got to set your time zone uh, an rtr and a honda uh, miles per hour, max speed, average speed, trip, riding time, and then these buttons let you navigate through the next menu. This is your duty. You also have your duty back on here. So your duty on this side, battery bar on this side. I think this is your battery bar. It hasn't really moved, but I haven't really killed the battery down yet. So I'm not 100%. So your duty percent, year time, GPS based, also the date, uh, battery voltage, motor amps, power and wattage. Uh, which it's we're hitting 3600 watts so you get motor amps and power watts we'll, we'll try to watch that when we're going uh, motor temperature the wire that's on the motor depending on if you hook it up or not and then you pick the right resistor or transistor whatever diode thermistor thermistor if you pick the correct thermistor in the app it might read the correct temperature that's why I never hook it up because if you don't pick the right one it will zero out or go to 999 then won't let you do anything so that's why I never hook it up uh, I don't know what this is really can't really tell it kind of hasn't changed from one trip to the next and then these are your settings so we'll go through real quick uh, ESC type you're gonna have it for a vest so F S E S C the other one didn't work so this is the one that I picked with hub motor I'm assuming if you set all this stuff somewhere it will be 
in the app or correctly with the miles per hour, but because it's GPS based, it shouldn't make a difference anyway. Uh, when you click it, you go through your options. The only thing I messed with was time zone. And I think that was it. And ESC type. So I messed with ESC type and time zone. Everything else was already set up in here. I haven't really messed with. To get back, you just gotta hold one of the buttons. And now you're back into your side to side menus. So we'll go for a ride. Uh, I'll put on the phone, the GPS speed on my phone, GPS speed here, see how accurate they are. They should be identical because they're both GPS based. And then it is actually saving my odometer. So uh, that's a step past what Studio accomplished. So let's see what happens when we go for a couple rides. And then after this, I will be doing a tutorial on how to do the field weakening. We'll see how fast we can get this thing now that I have everything dialed in. And I have a USB cable hanging out the bottom that I can plug into the computer. So let's go for a quick ride. They seem to be a little slow, but the same. Hidden penis. I know I've said it before, but this controller makes this bike so much fun. So next video I will do the field weakening and we'll do another top speed see how high we can get it. I'm going to guess maybe 45 ish maybe 50 I doubt it but we'll get at least more than 38 39 that it's getting now and we'll see how far we can go. Alright thanks see you next time. <laughs>